Welcome to this video in a series on understanding Zotero. In this video, I'll review how you can sync your Zotero library with offsite backup. First, I'll talk about storing your library locally and backing it up there. Then, I'll talk about syncing with Zotero.org. And then I'll talk about how you actually sync your PDFs and other documents, either on the Zotero server or using a web dev. And in this case, I'll use the example of box.com. So let's get started. I have Firefox open. It's taking up the whole screen. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little Z icon to open Zotero. You'll see it opens up on the bottom third of the screen. And I'm going to click on Toggle View to make it take up the full screen. So everything you see in front of you is my Zotero library. Now when we talk about backing up your Zotero library, the first thing we need to talk about is backing up locally. And that means you need to know where is the Zotero data on your computer. So let's go to the little gear here and then click on Preferences. Make sure you're in the Advanced tab and then click on Files and Folders. And then if you look in the middle third of the window, you'll see it says Data, Directory, Location. And below that there's a button that says Show Data Directory. If you click there, it'll take you to a folder, and in that folder is your entire Zotero library. Now, as I've said in a previous video, you're not going to really understand the files and folders that are in this folder, but the important thing for you to know is that everything you store in Zotero is stored locally on your computer. So that means that the first thing you need to do if you want to back up all your Zotero data is to back up your hard drive. There are lots of ways to do this. I'm on a Mac. Uh, I can use something called Time Machine. If you're working on a PC, there are lots of ways to back up your data that way. But the first thing that everyone should do is be making full backups of their hard drive. But before I close this window, I just want to point out one thing. You can see here under Data Directory Location, I've selected Custom. And that's because I have the, the folder that contains my Zotero library. I have it inside my Documents folder on my computer. That's just a personal choice that I've made. You can save this folder, your, your Zotero library, anywhere on your computer. Now, some people recommend or have the idea that in order to back up your Zotero library, what you should do is move this folder or locate this folder inside a, a service that syncs. So they might store this folder, for example, on Dropbox or on Google Drive. I don't recommend this. And the reason I don't recommend this is because you can have all sorts of syncing and conflict issues. And in fact, I, th I think the Zotero site itself does, recommends against it. So the first thing you should do is make sure that you keep this folder on your hard drive, not in Dropbox, not in Google Drive, and that you back up your hard drive. So let's close this window. So now that you have a local backup, the next thing you need to think about is how can you sync your Zotero library um, off-site? Well, the first thing you need to do is go to Zotero.org, and if you haven't already, you should open an account. So here, in the upper right corner, you click on Register. And once you're here, you'll select a username, an email, and a password. And then Zotero will send you an email, and you click on it to confirm your account. Once that's done, I want you to go back to Zotero. Again, click on Actions and Preferences, and then click on Sync. From there, you'll enter your username and password. Here where it says Zotero Sync Server. I recommend you click on Sync Automatically, and then Sync Full Text Content. You can close that window. And then if you click on this little circle arrow here, Zotero will sync your library to its own off-site storage. What this means then is if I go back to the Zotero website and I click on Login, and then I, you guessed it, I log in, you can see that my whole Zotero library, it's available through the Zotero website. And I can click on any item. I have all the metadata. 
So this is a great way to have access to your Zotero library, even if you don't have access to Firefox or to the Zotero program itself. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my Zotero library. I'm going to go Actions and Preferences again. So once you've set up your Zotero Sync server, you then need to make a decision about file syncing. When I say file syncing, I'm referring to the PDFs and other child items, the other files that you have associated with each Zotero entry. Obviously, the best thing is to have access to these files wherever you go. Now, there are two ways to ensure that all of your files are being backed up. You can either sync your files with Zotero, or you can sync them to another site using a web dev. If you want to sync everything with the Zotero server, if you look under file syncing, you want to make sure that you've selected sync attachment files, and you want to make sure that you've also selected Zotero. I'll close that window. I'll go back to the Zotero website. And all that means is that everything, not just the metadata, but the files will be available to you via the Zotero website. So the advantage of using the Zotero server is that it's super easy. The disadvantage, however, is that it can also be expensive. Because if I go here to Zotero file storage, it's on their support pages for Zotero, you can see that the first 300 megabytes of storage are free. But if I want to do anything more than that, I'm going to be paying a pretty hefty fee, $20 a year, $60 a year, or even more. And the truth is, is that 300 megabytes is not a lot of PDFs. So if you're not in a position to pay Zotero for your storage, the other option that's available to you is to set up a web dev service. The advantage is that it'll be free, but the disadvantage is that there are a few more steps involved in setting it up. So let's look at how to do that. Let's go to another page in the Zotero support forums about web dev services. And here, it gives you a list of services that you can use to sync your Zotero library off-site. And it takes you through the, you know, the free space you get, the limitations, and how it might work. Now, the one I'm going to show you is Box. So let's click on Box. And Box is very similar to services like Dropbox or Google Drive. You would sign up. Choose an individual account. Then give your name, email address, password, all that good stuff. Again, you'll get an email, you'll confirm it, and then you'll have everything ready to go. Once that's done, you would go back to your Zotero library. Then click on Actions and Preferences. And here under File Syncing, instead of having Zotero selected, you'll want to select Web Dev. You can see here that I've been given the option to either purge or not purge the files that I've been storing on the Zotero servers. Read through this carefully and decide what you want to do. I'm going to say do not purge. And then just make sure that you enter dav.box.com slash dav and then your username and password. And you can click on verify server just to make sure that everything is working. And you'll get a confirmation message that the sync server has been set up. So let's close that. And once you set up your web dev, again, you can sync. And what this means is that all of the metadata, all of the, all of the information about all of the items in your library is still here on the Zotero site. But all of the files are actually stored in another place, in box.com. So that's it for syncing your Zotero library. Let's just review what we've talked about. First, your Zotero library is stored locally on a folder in your computer. So if you're backing up your hard drive, and you should be backing up your hard drive, you should be fine. And I don't recommend that you keep your Zotero library folder in something like Dropbox or Google Drive. Instead, what I recommend is that you open an account on Zotero.org and you sync your library that way. By opening an account, 
you'll be able to store all the metadata for all your items. If you also want to store all the files, all the PDFs, etc., you have two options. You can either store them on the Zotero servers, and then your other option is to open an account at a service like box.com and store all your files using a web dev. Both options are good, it's just about what works for you. And that's it for Syncing with Zotero. You can find links to the pages that I show in this video down in the description. If you have questions, feel free to leave a comment, and please check out my other Zotero videos. Thanks for watching.